My dad told me he never wanted a daughter and now he wants to walk me down the aisle. Hi. I, 24F, have two brothers, 27M, and 13M. My parents got married at 18 and 23 and suffered loads of miscarriages throughout their marriage. I think the total is 11 but I'm not sure. They had one before my older brother, I was supposed to have a twin brother but he was lost, and then nine between me and my little brother. My dad, 55M, hates me. He liked me when I was a child but once I started going through puberty he started to hate me. I confronted him once when I was 15 and he said that he never wanted a daughter and it was easier to ignore the fact that I was a girl when I was younger. My mum, 50F, pulled me aside later on and told me that my dad is bisexual and that he was always bullied for not being, man, enough by his relatives so he thought having a daughter was an insult to his masculinity. I come from a culture that's extremely homophobic and that measures the amount of children, mainly sons, as a sign of a man's masculinity. My mother's fertility problems got worse after I was born, so that made him hate me more. After that, I basically just ignored him and we lived as strangers and my life got so much better. No more shouting, fights or anything. I missed my first prom because apparently prom is slutty to him but because we no longer spoke I had a blast at my second prom. My relationship with my mother also improved. He's actually a very good partner to my mum so I guess his misogyny is only for me. I moved out for uni at 18 and met my fiancé, 28M, then 22, in my new city because I worked at a subway and he came for lunch most days. He's amazing and I love him to death. After I graduated from university at 21 I stayed in my uni city and moved in with my fiancé. He came to my graduation but I ignored him. It's very far from home so I don't visit often. Because my father and I don't speak to each other, my fiancé didn't have to ask for my hand, more misogyny hugging face, and we got engaged a few months ago and began to plan our wedding immediately. The thing is, my dad had a heart attack two years ago. I didn't return home to see him and I told my mom not to talk about it to me. My little brother who was 11 then did tell me stuff about it whenever he called and I let him because he's a kid and was obviously very stressed and needed someone to speak to. Since then, my mum has been hinting at me that dad wants to speak to me again and I shut it down every time. She told my dad that I was getting married, he saw my fiancé at my graduation but they didn't speak, and he called me for the first time in 9 years. He wanted to see how his baby girl was doing. He apologized, only said, I'm sorry for not speaking to you and then immediately asked about my wedding and who would be walking me down the aisle. I said that no one would. He then asked if he could and I immediately said no. I honestly went off a little and I said that I hadn't had a real conversation with him in nearly a decade and that's the first thing he asks me? He hung up on me and I received a very stern phone call from my little brother because apparently I made dad cry. He doesn't know about my issues with him so I didn't say anything but I was like what about all the times he made me cry? My mum then rang me and said that my dad had been wanting to make amends since his heart attack but didn't know how to approach me. It's not like I would bite his head off, he could have asked to talk me when I came back to visit family, he could have rang me and asked to talk without asking to walk me down the aisle. Honestly, I just think this is him just trying to save face. He doesn't want people to know that he's rejected his own daughter so his Facebook is full of photos of us together as a family during events where we weren't talking. I don't know what to do about this now. I do want to at least hear him out to understand why thought rejecting me was a good idea, not necessarily to make amends, but I don't know if I should let him walk me down the aisle to offer an olive branch. It's all my mum talks about nowadays and as sad as it sounds, I don't want to lose my relationship with my other parent. How should I deal with this? And is it worth attempting to rebuild a relationship with my father? Thank you. First thing you need to do is tell your mom to back off. She let her husband treat you like garbage for years because your gender was some kind of hit to his masculinity. I'd tell him in no uncertain terms that as much as he's worried about how it'll look if he doesn't walk you down the aisle it's much worse to be told you weren't wanted by your own father. I wouldn't even invite him, he doesn't deserve it. I would tell him that directly. If you want to rebuild your relationship after the wedding that's on you to do on your own terms. You'll know if he is serious if he can't go to the wedding and still wants a relationship, but I have my doubts. Update. How do I tell my sister that I'm finding it hard that she's pregnant? Original. So. Turns out she lied about being pregnant. She faked a miscarriage and whilst she was in the hospital, her boyfriend found her sat in the pub with a drink. 
She told him everything and he called to let me know and apologize for everything I went through and that he had no clue. He's now left her and right now, no one is talking to her. I've found it hard to process and can't handle associating myself with someone who can lie about something so big. There are so many people struggling with fertility and there she is lying through her teeth. Yeah, this is pretty manipulative of her. But why though? Honestly she's a dick. In case she has a miscarriage, from your last post tells me that she was planning this cause she doesn't like you having the attention. Why else would she bring up something so new and raw for you? And what pregnant woman plans for, in case of a miscarriage? I'm really sorry that your sister is such a horrible person. I hope she's regretting her actions. Holy shit, that is psychotic. I'm so sorry. Girlfriend's sister and husband pretended to like me while harboring resentment until it blew up. I, M31, and my GF, F24, have been together for five years. Me and her family get along great, we have political disagreements sometimes but it's all in good faith and never crosses the line. First about myself, I'm a 31 yo male, black, if that matters. I work for my parents they own a real estate company with about 50 properties, but I wouldn't classify us as rich so much as comfortable. I don't have a lot of extra money but I'm never hungry or worried about a place to live and we travel multiple times a year. I have two kids, F10, M less than 1, this will be important later. I'm a loner by heart, I never had that many friends growing up and even now I find it difficult to maintain friendships. I find keeping up with multiple people tedious. One two friendships is the max I can handle at a time. I don't tend to be very emotional, as a large black man I've had to learn to not react and be calm at all times. There's been more than one occasion where people have taken my non-response to situations as disrespectful or callous, uncaring, which cannot be further from the truth I just am not a openly emotional person. Next about sister and sister's husband. Sister's husband I believe is mid-40s. He works a very good job but he travels a lot. Sister is a psalm for their four kids. They pride themselves on having a nice house, nice stuff. Very traditional American emo. We aren't best friends, but I considered them family and wouldn't hesitate to help if asked. Now the incident, I'm going to try to relate this as chronological and accurate as possible. Quotes are paraphrased as it's been almost two years. To make it easier I'll refer to sister as S, sister's husband as Shish, and my girlfriend as GF. So I guess I should start this story with the precursor incident. So during 2020 Shish cheated on S with S's friend while she was pregnant. It was pretty wild as I had met S's friend and her husband at multiple events at S's house. All in all I'm not sure what happened specifically but she stayed and they worked it out. Fast forwards to February 2021. I live in the south and at this time we had a crazy cold front and a large portion of the state lost power. I was lucky enough to have power the entire time. S was not, their kids were freezing and they were sleeping in the garage with a generator so their snakes wouldn't die. I offered to take the two oldest kids so they could have heat and power. The youngest was still breastfeeding, I should also mention that me and the oldest have had issues in the past. One time he slapped me in the face when I didn't give him the basketball. But the oldest is not S's son so he doesn't have contact with his real mother and S fills in for her. They came for about 3-4 days. They ate my food, played my consoles. I played with them, all in all we had a great time. The incident happened not long after they went home. Girlfriend brother, 20 at the time? Went over to S house and got into an argument with Shish about his cheating. Then out of nowhere Shish starts going off about me being a bad match for my GF. That if she gets pregnant she will regret it the rest of her life. That I never pay for any of her stuff, I did and still do. Girlfriend brother defended me and then proceeded to call my girlfriend and tell her what happened. My girlfriend calls S and S says Shish is right, that at events I just sit on my phone away from everyone. That she showed me the boat her and Shish just got and I didn't say much about it, I've never been on a boat in my life other than a ferry and I know absolutely nothing about them. She reiterated all of Shish points, girlfriend defends me and the call lasts for about an hour. I don't remember everything that was said but it was negative lol. Now I was shocked by this. Up until this point I thought I had a great relationship with S and Shish. I was completely blindsided by this and deeply hurt because I have severe anxiety and events were difficult for me at the time but I still roughed it out and felt like I was actively participating in conversation, building relationships, etc. We go NC and fast forward a few months to the end of the year and girlfriend is pregnant. 
At this point her and S start to reconnect and rebuild their relationship. I don't have a problem with this as long as I didn't have to be around her. Over the next few months leading up to the baby shower girlfriend tried to convince me to let it go a few times but I stood firm with a absolute no. Eventually close to the baby shower she asked me what it would take to begin to repair the relationship and I told her it started with an apology. S agreed to apologize but also wanted to meet and explain herself. I declined and said she needed to apologize first and then we go from there. Well the baby shower came and when S didn't show up and I've never gotten an apology. Over the next few months leading up to the birth and after the birth of my son. Girlfriend and S seem to have gone back to normal. Girlfriend has NC with Shish. S has given us most of their baby toys and stuff which was hundreds of dollars as they won't be having any more children. I've had NC with S and Shish since the incident. Still no apology, and to be honest I guess I'm still a little bitter about it. Girlfriend goes over to S house with the baby a few times a month. I'm not sure how to feel about it. I'm not sure if I even want my son over there, my daughter is not allowed over there, but I know even bringing it up will be a shit show. Girlfriend is a SOM and S is a part of her support system. Edit. Shish is Hispanic everyone else in the story is white. My girlfriend when I showed her the post said people might assume I'm thinking this is race based but I don't think so. But I don't really know either. Also sister refers to girlfriend's sister. Edit 2. Just to add some clarification I met my girlfriend when she was 19 after she left the military. We didn't start dating until many months after. I think if she's old enough to go die and kill people she's old enough to date a 25 yo. Side note s is my age and shish is mid 40s. I know people are giving me shit about the age gap but I didn't do anything wrong. Only s and shish don't like me out of everyone in her family. A little bit of racism, a little bit of sibling bs, and likely a lot of stress, hormones, and deflecting from their problems. If your gf's sister really wanted to sincerely apologize to you, she would have figured out a way to do so. You shouldn't need to bend over backwards to get an apology. Sounds like you got scapegoated here. They figured if they drummed up a bunch of bullshit excuses and poked holes in someone else's relationship, they wouldn't have to deal with their own failing marriage. It's better to keep them at arm's length, it wouldn't be fair to ask girlfriend to stop talking to s but if you're really not comfortable with the baby around her y'all need to have a serious convo about that part because trust me that will make you guys argue at some point. Really no reason a 26 years old should be talking to a 19 year old in the first place. I broke up with my boyfriend when he came out to me. I, 19m, had been dating my now ex-partner, 20 female tm, for 3 years. In these past 3 years, we had lived as a heterosexual couple, me being a cisgender man and my partner at the time being known to the world as a cisgender woman. I will be honest, I had lost a majority of my feelings for them after the first year. I had stuck around, thinking that it was caused by the initial honeymoon phase coming to an end, and that losing feelings to this extent was normal. After a lot of soul searching, I have come to the conclusion that I am gay. I did not see a future with my partner because at the time, they were known to everyone as a woman, and I saw my future self living my life with a man instead. As soon as I had come to terms with this, I wanted to tell them to let them know in person, in a way so that I could break up as gently as possible. Last week, I had sat my partner down in my living room, and told them the news. I reassured them that they did not do anything wrong, and that I still would like to stay friends. I thanked them for the time we had spent together as a couple. I stayed truthful and honest with them, and I was then going to try to break up with them, but they had interrupted me in the middle to tell me something important of their own to share. They had told me that they did not feel like a woman. They came out to me and let me know that they are trans and use they, he pronouns. I told them that they were very courageous to come out, and that I was proud of him. I told them that I still wanted to break up. They looked shocked, and they asked me why? They seemed to imply that I didn't have to break up with them anymore, because they aren't a woman. I respect their identity with my full heart, but I told them that I would not be able to stay with them romantically. I'm not even fully sure why. All I know is I have not been attracted to them for two years, and I don't think an identity label would change it all that much. I told one of my friends about it, and had expressed to them that I wouldn't be able to date someone who I knew as a woman for such a long time. My friend told me that this way of thinking is transphobic, and that is the exact opposite impact I would like to have. I still love my ex platonically, I am still struggling to consistently use their pronouns when talking to my friends about it, 
but I always correct myself and I never go out of my way to misgender them. I just don't know how to explain it in any other way. I am not attracted to them as I would be to a person I have always known as a man. I'm not sure what to do from here. My ex is devastated, and I have been unsuccessful at trying to comfort them. Some of my friends are mad at me. Others are on my side I'm saying that I am allowed to break up with them. This situation has been ridiculously stressful, and I am unsure how to make it better. Attraction isn't broad and is very subjective. You're not transphobic if you're not attracted to your partner, but do avoid explaining it like you did to your friend as some people would still be sensitive about it. I'm attracted to both men and women, doesn't mean I'll automatically be attracted to every man and woman I meet. Not how attraction works. You can't transition a personality. It's great they found their true selves physically but they are still the same person. Makes sense you wouldn't want to date them anymore. You left out the important part. You were unhappy, sexuality aside for a very long time. You came to the conclusion that you no longer wanted to be unhappy and got the courage to say something about it. Typically when someone is ready to go and have been unhappy for a long time, no matter how convincing the other party is that they have or will change in that moment, it is too late. It no longer matters to you and that's okay.